Hi everyone, thank you for joining in. Before we start this walk through the streets of Manhattan, I will request you to subscribe to my channel and like this video as I have so much more of the city to show you. All right, let's start. So I have a question for you. How can you physically stand behind your father while he is standing behind you? Let me repeat. How can you physically stand behind your father while he is standing behind you? You can think about this as we take the stroll and I will answer it at the end of this video. And this is just live footage of me having difficulty tackling my hair. New York is the city that never sleeps. But sometimes you need to take it easy and just have a relaxing walk. One popular place to do that is Madison Square Park. It is located in Midtown Manhattan and is surrounded by iconic NYC tourist attractions that you'll spot throughout this video. This park serves so many different purposes for everyone. It's a dog park, it's a food spot, a playground, a performance area, a sanctuary, all rolled into one. Look at these super cute dogs. It is so relaxing to come here in the evening and watch them. This park was named after the fourth American president, James Madison. This place has a long history and has seen a lot of changes to become what it is today. Okay, I saw these men with their equipment and was so confused about what it is. Maybe pause and let me know what you think it was. Quick fact, as a child, a squirrel once terrified me into dropping my chocolate. I'm still scared of them, but they do look so cute. Usually in the evenings, you can see a lot of performers in this park. Did you know, this is the original first location of Shake Shack, a place very popular for its shakes and burgers. During summer days, it is common to see a huge line outside it. I wanted to love it, but almost everything has meat or eggs in it. Something about the hustle and bustle of big cities that makes you think that all dreams are achievable. This is the subway stop that someone would take if they are using public transport to come here. Everybody is always so busy out here. Everybody is walking so fast. It's so stressful. And that's me checking for my double chin. We were hungry by now and looking for food. There are so many options here that it becomes very hard to choose. By the way, back in India, when I used to watch Friends, I always thought that these fire escape stairs on the outside of the buildings are so cool. So I've learned one thing, okay? If you stand somewhere and start taking a video of something, people stop to look at it because they're wondering what are you looking at that they haven't noticed. So you can get a hype by just standing somewhere and taking multiple videos or pictures of that place. Crazy. Anyone else obsessed with home decor items? Only me? Okay. You know, this restaurant that you're looking at, it is in the compound of a church. This red door place, it is a church and has restaurants in it. I'm very curious about it. So our search for food continued and you can see it is pretty dark by now. It 
In the end, we chose Mexico, a Mexican restaurant with some really good food. We had a to-go order, so we picked it up and left for home. And that's the Museum of Sex, in case you're interested. And that is the majestic Empire State Building. It was at this point that I decided I really needed diet soda. So we stopped by at the CVS in Koreatown. I grabbed my drink, but then I was reminded that I only drink Diet Coke, not Diet Pepsi. So I thought we were done for the night, but apparently not. We're going to watch a movie now. Sadly, I had already changed out of my clothes, so I'll have to change again. I'm wearing my be ready to crisper t-shirt but it'll be fun ready again we will be going to the amc theater near madison square garden as you can see this place just lights up brilliantly at night this is what we see on tv when we think of manhattan all the glitter all the shiny buildings So here we are. This place has some Halloween decoration up because again, it's Halloween season. We are late for the movie and my mask broke so I'll try to find a new one before it starts. Ugh, the COVID created issues. But I did find a mask, so that's good. The movie that we came to watch was called Halloween Kills and I will not recommend it because it's supposed to be a horror movie but is unintentionally a comedy movie. The tickets costed us around $40 for two people and around $20 for the soda and popcorn. Our hall was on the fourth floor so we had to go up all these flights of elevators. So I have one story about getting soda in America. In my first month in America, I went to this fast food place where I ordered fries and diet soda. They gave me a cup to fill by myself. This was already strange and new for me because in Delhi, they fill up your glass with soda, right? But they gave it to me, so I went to that uh, booth and I was shocked to find that they had so many flavors of soda. So it's not just Pepsi, it's not just Coke or Fanta or Sprite. Within each brand, you have like tens of flavors. You can choose the diet or the normal. You can choose pineapple, strawberry, red cherry, black cherry, so many flavors. And I felt like, okay, this is how it feels to be in a first world country. A lot of sodas. Anyway, so I took my soda and I came back and I realized that I hated the flavor. It was Dr. Pepper. So my friend told me, why don't you just go and throw that soda and get a new one? Now in my mind I was thinking, I already paid $3 for the soda. I'm not going to waste it. So very unhappily, I finished my Dr. Pepper. It took me three more months to realize that in most of the fast food places in America, you can refill your glass as many times as you want. Isn't that amazing? But also unhealthy because you should not drink a lot of soda. Anyway, going back to the question that I asked you at the starting of this video, how can you physically stand behind your father while he is standing behind you? The answer is, you both are standing back to back. Let me know if you figured out the answer and thank you for joining me on this journey.